guys, this is Val or Premier 3D, and today is the second installment of the modeling techniques in Cinema 4D. We're going from the basics to the more advanced. Uh, we're still on the basics, um, but we'll we'll get there. Um, as this is the only second tutorial in the series. So yeah, insert a cube, and the attributes menu will pop up, and you'll see the cube up here. Hit C on your keyboard and it's editable and you'll see that the menus changed quite a bit. Um, this is because once an object is editable you can't actually change the size or the caps or all that stuff. Um, so you have to kind of decide on that before you make it editable. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, move on to the area over here and you'll see these three tools here are probably three of the most commonly used tools for modeling. Um, this point selector lets you access the access points. Um, if you select th these points, they are all points in the corners of objects. Um, you can actually move that, you, you utilize the tool to move the points. So again, as you can see, all the other points remain in the same place. Um, so that's a way of changing the shape of an object. Also, this is the line tool. So it's kind of the same idea. You can pull it out, pull it in, push it down, push it that way, all that stuff. Um, yeah, and then obviously the um, surface selector, so you can pull up, which is kind of, which which is changing the size. So I guess you can change the size, but uh, you can't change it manually like in the menu. Um, now, if you right click when, when you have uh, something selected, there we go, uh, all these menus will pop up here. Um, let's just select this tool here, the line. Um, or actually, no, let's, let's stick with this one and select this surface here. If you right click that, select the knife tool, and if you draw a li line anywhere you want, as you can see, a new line will pop up. These line, this line here is equivalent to um, all the like all the other lines there are. We're still on the knife tool though. We need to go back. So just click onto the move tool or hit E on your keyboard and it'll take you there. Um, it's like the all the other lines up here. It's you've created kind of a, you've created a new line on the object, and as you can see, it kind of made into shape of a house. If you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, there are, the, the, there are lots of tools you can use for modeling. Um, com most commonly used ones, I've got Magic Mouse. Oh, there we go. So, some, for some reason, doesn't right click's not working. Um, like there's even Array, Melt, um, Extrude is used a lot. Same with Bezel, Extrude Inner. I'll teach you those later on. Um, so yeah. You can um, move on. We can uh, take this and add a flower. Yeah, let's do flower. And um, as you can see, it's not a 3D object. It's this is just a kind of line. Um, we, we're going to make this into a spleen object by um, uh, hitting C and. As you see here, this will uh, turn into a spleen object. And what this allows you to do is, same as the other ones, you can, same as the cube, you can uh, access the, the access points. Um, so you can do the same thing. So it really doesn't matter on what type of object it is, whether it's a spleen, whether it's a actual 3D, ob 3D object or whatever. Um, and bef before, like the other object, before you actually make it editable, you can change the the radius of the the flower. You can kind of change the shape of it. So once you decide on that, you can move on to doing what I just told you. So make it editable, and then hit C, um, and it lets you kind of change the sh shape more easily, uh, which is used in modeling. Um, you can also add extrude nerves, 
So if you pu pull the flower under extrude nerves, this will make it into 3 3D object, like all the um, uh, like the cube we were just talking about, and you can make it thicker using uh, these these tools here. So this is under the extrude nerves attributes menu. Uh, you can change the the which which axis it will move on to. Uh, this is for depth. So that's mo probably the most important for 3D objects. Um, and even when it's uh, 3D, if you want to change the points, you can actually still do that by going into the flower, selecting the points, and moving up. So uh, as you can see, the extrude nerves recognizes you've done that, and it keeps, into th keeps that shape in 3D for you. So you can have different length of the petals or whatever whatever you want to model um so yeah uh that's just been a quick little overview of polygon modeling uh how to how to make a polygon the different access points uh extrude nerves and these three tools are key to modeling you need to know how to use them uh and next tutorial we you'll be able to uh We'll, well, we'll be going into more detail on the polygon tools, uh, like such as the knife, the extrude, extrude inner be uh, bezel, I think, or be bezel, whatever it's called. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Also, check out my new tech channel. Links on the screen. Um, you can also watch the previous tutorial if you want. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye.